In this video, we're going to take a look at cPanel and I hope this video will help you to get more familiar with your cPanel account and also to use uh, some of the critical important functions in a cPanel account. So this is how a typical cPanel account will look like. In this example, the version of cPanel is cPanel Accelerated. Um, but you may also find other versions of cPanel. But overall, this is the generic look of a cPanel account. Now, you can only access your cPanel account if you have already got web hosting and your own domain name and you have set up the entire thing and then you'll be given a username and password to access your cPanel account and after you've logged in, you'll probably see a screen like this. So one of the very important functions in cPanel is that uh, there's also a built-in video tutorials section. You can just click on this and you can see here that there's tons of video tutorials that uh, is built into your cPanel account and you can have a look at these video tutorials. Uh, they are very very basic to just tell you uh, what to click to do what but nevertheless these video tutorials will probably be very important for you to help uh, to, to help you to understand how a cPanel account works. And secondly, you can also change how your cPanel account looks like by clicking on change style. And as you can see here, there are several skins or themes or templates that you can choose uh, to, to change the layout of your cPanel account. Now, all these changes that you make here is purely cosmetic and it does not uh, change the functions of your cPanel account. So on in any normal case, you probably would not need to change the style of your cPanel account. To create a new email address that is associated with your domain name, just click on email accounts. And here you'll be able to create your new email address and give it a password as well. And you can select the mailbox quota and click on create. By default, you can access this newly created email address within your cPanel account by clicking on mailbox. But you can also access this email through third-party clients like Microsoft Outlook, etc. And if you want to get information on how to do that, you, you can just click on this link here it's, uh, that prompts you, do you wish to configure your account to work with a mail client? So click on yes. And you'll get some information here on how to configure this email address that you just created uh, with several of the more popular uh, mail services or mail programs like Microsoft Outlook. And at the bottom, you'll also get some manual settings that list your mail server username, your incoming mail server, etc., outgoing mail server, and some of the supported protocols so if you know how to set up your email address manually in in um, in Thunderbird or in Microsoft Outlook then you can go ahead and just use this manual settings to do it and now I'm going to click on home to get back to the main page and if you scroll to the bottom you would see that uh, you can also add new subdomains you can have add-on domains, park domains, and also redirects in your cPanel account. So let me give you an example of how to create a subdomain. A subdomain is simply an extension to your main domain. So in this example, my main domain is plrwpvideos.com. And if I want to create a subdomain for my support or help desk, I can always type in and click on create and you can see that my new subdomain has been created and to access this subdomain I need to type into my browser uh, for example my Internet Explorer or Firefox I need to type in support.plrwpvideos.com if you want to redirect this subdomain you can just click on manage redirect 
and over here you can have your subdomain for, for example in this case support at plrwpmedias.com I can have it redirect to my blog if I want to and if you type in support at plrwpvideos.com it will automatically redirect to my blog at gobalakrishnan.com so let's go back to the main page to explore more uh, important functions of cPanel just click on home now scroll down to the bottom and you would see this uh, smiley icon here uh, the name for this icon is Fantastico Deluxe and this is perhaps one of the more important uh, services in your cPanel account just click on that so using your Fantastico account you'll be able to access and install a lot of uh, free or open source scripts such as WordPress um, and other blog platforms like B2 Evolution or Nucleus and you also be able to install several uh, forums for example the SMF forum or PHPBB forum and if you plan to sell products online, there's uh, a couple of free e-commerce uh, software available here. Uh, the ones that are good are Zencart and OS Commerce. And you can also just explore all the other available free software in your cPanel account under the Fantastico icon. And there are, of course, a lot more functions in your cPanel account that you can explore. Um, you can also get a statistics program to, to see um, exactly how much web visitors you're getting. But uh, for now, let me just show you how to uh, customize your cPanel account. If you can see the little icon here, you can actually collapse or expand um, the functions that you either do not use at all or the ones that you use more regularly and if you want you can also just click and drag certain components of it to rearrange the order of the functions in your cPanel account so if you hardly use this section over here and you you uh, may want to move some of the boxes above here and again in the sidebar also you can collapse things that you don't use uh, Overall, this is um, very cosmetic, but it also helps you to manage your cPanel account uh, better by getting rid of any distractions by hiding uh, the programs that you hardly use. So I uh, hope that you benefited from this basic cPanel tutorial.